hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel as we have discussed that we have to implement status and date within the tutorial post table so in this video we are going to add status and date within the table of tutorial post so let's go in the database and here is the tutorial post procedure here you can see we have crude operations declared here but before updating this we need to add field within the table so it is the tutorial post okay so we need to add some columns here click here and add new column first of all we have a status bit either it is published or draft so we have only two status so we will add status as a bit 0 or 1 so here we have status and here is the bit the second is the time of publishing what is the publishing time okay so we need to add timestamp here having publish date and here is the uh, you can use date time or timestamp it's totally upon you and click on generate change script okay so now copy this change script and in the new query execute that now refresh your columns and here you can see all these are inserted now each time whenever we will insert some record we also have to define the status and publish date so we simply need to copy this comma and add status status is a bit so we need to declare status here you can add status and it is a bit and default is zero next we need to add publish date now we will use SQL method by which we can insert the current timestamp within a column of database table let's add this status bit here and use get date method now we need to execute this okay yes we have a timestamp and this is date time so we need to delete this one and add once again here date time and generate script again execute that script and now execute the procedure so right after this whenever we will insert some bracket regarding tutorial post 
title and content is already inserting and publish date is get by the system current timestamp and the status have to be sent by the procedure so in the next tutorial we will deal with the database or data access layer and update procedural variables to insert the record of status from the backend i hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye have fun